Hey, um, stage two of this, um, donut disaster mitigation, all right? Mary Ann's is not the only trans fat donut producer in the area. In fact, there's several more, and this is very upsetting to me. We're up to 19 donut shops in Northeast Ohio that are for sure have been doing this, um, not disclosing that they're, what their donuts are fried in unsafe oil. So, I'm going to call um, this guy who's on the Stark County Commissioners. It looks like he's responsible for the donut eating contest this weekend that is going to be at the um, Canton Football Hall of Fame. Okay, and this is just like another thing. Like, oh my gosh, they're asking people to gorge on uh, trans fats when not telling them... If they're serving two grams trans fat donuts or seven grams trans fat donuts. And this county commissioner, he owns one of the donut shops as a franchise. Um, so I'm here going to see if he is aware of the food safety hazard of this contest. Okay. <sighs> His name's Stark County Commissioner Bill Smith. Let's see. I hope we can get him. Oh, I'm so nervous about this shit. Okay. I see, I could just email, but it's better people... Hi, you reached Bill Smith, County Commissioner. I'm sorry that I'm not available to answer your call. To <sighs> Please leave your name, number, and a quick message as a tone, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for calling, and have a great day in Stark County. Hey, Bill, how are you? My name is Jeremy. I am um, a health advocate in a uh, Cleveland area, and I caught wind of the Marianne's uh, Donut Eating Contest this weekend at the Football Hall of Fame Balloon Contest, and I see that um, you have, um, that's one of your hobbies, is the hot air balloons. So I wanted to talk to you just about the food safety implications. Um, because of the trans fat content of the donuts, um, are you guys planning to have ambulances there for, for people's heart attack risks or, um, or screen people for um, pre-existing disease risks? Because there's a fellow on the event page and he's, he's overweight, he's over 65. I mean, if he participates in this, it could be, um, you know, the artery clogging dosages that that really, you know, trigger a heart attack. And so I've been, um, I've emailed uh, the owner, Pat, uh, well, I've emailed Pat's account just about some science articles and asking them to comply with the FDA phase out of trans fats ahead of time. And this would be a really, really good idea for public safety and public health. Um, I just wanted to see uh, what the plan was because it's kind of kind of scary that there's no disclosure um, how many trans fats are in the glazed donuts that you guys plan to, to have people gorge on. So um, give me a call back. My number is 216-469-0686. And, and I want to be friends. I'm just concerned and want to make sure you guys have thought this out. I mean, maybe there's like more liability papers you should have people sign and stuff like that. Because um, all the science indicates that this is this is a, a serious hazard. Um, so I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Recording stopped. Let's see if it's gonna let me listen to it. To record some more, press five. Oh, to reveal That's your so message, much. press two. Do you think I did good? Start of message. Okay. Hey, Bill. How are you? My name is Jeremy. I am. Um, I'm a health advocate in a Cleveland area, and I caught wind of the Marianne's uh, Donut Eating Contest this weekend at the Football Hall of Fame Balloon Contest, and I see that um, you know, um, that's one of your hobbies, it's a hot air balloon. So I wanted to talk to you just about the safety implications um, because of the trans fat content of the donut. Um, are you guys planning to have ambulances there for, for people's heart attack risks or, um, or screen people for um, 
pre-existing disease risks because there's a fellow on the event page and he's, he's overweight, he's over 65. I mean, if he participates in this, it could be, um, you know, the artery clogging dosages that, that really, you know, trigger a heart attack. And so I've been, um, I've emailed an uh, owner, Pat, uh, well, I emailed Pat's account to set up some science articles and asking them to comply with the FDA phase out of trans fats ahead of time. And it's going to be a really, really good idea for public safety and public health. Um, I just wanted to see uh, what the plan was because it's kind of kind of scary that there's no disclosure on um, how many trans fats are in the glazed donuts that you guys plan to, to have people gorge on. So, um, give me a call back. My number is 216-469-0686. And, and I want to be friends. I'm just concerned and want to make sure you guys have thought this out. I mean, maybe there's like more liability papers you should and have people sign and stuff like that because um, all of this liability. Is, this is, this is a, a serious hazard. Um, so I hope you have a blessed day and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. <laughs> okay, All right, I'm going for it. As nice as I can be. Oh my god. All right, so flipping. That's um a bad idea. Gosh, they're already feeding people two to seven grams trans fat per donut, and then having a donut eating contest. No, they're not gonna say this is gonna be like three grams. If you can, this is gonna be seven grams. I mean. Uh, and, 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 uh, just, uh, it is the first donut company to reformulate. Certainly it should be a race. All right. Get your pleas in cause it's, it's, um, just in, just in Northeast Ohio, I found, um, peace, love and little donuts, Marianne's donuts, Jubilee, and the one Jack Frost location in Cleveland. Okay. That's up to 19 donut stores, all right, where you can increase your heart attack risk with a non gras food. I, uh, flippin', I'm glad there's a county commissioner. He, he might be, like, somewhat responsible public servant to tell people what they're getting themselves into. You know, I mean, this could be, this could be a blessing in disguise. Like, I don't, because it just seems to be standard practice. I mean, this, this, I, they caught me off guard. I mean, I've known about it, that, that trans fats are, are hazardous for a long time. So it's, it's befuddling to me that there's, there's so much of it in use. And, um, uh, we need consumer protection. I mean, cut down, cut down the oil. You could use 70% palm and 20% sunflower and 10% part. What does the partially do? Like, I, I get that it lasts longer. That that's the one benefit I can see. And there's some like goldeny brown things that are mouth feel things that are really like not insurmountable. I mean, Duncan has trans fat free donuts. Um, they're food safe. And, um, it's not insurmountable that we, like, make safe donuts. I mean, there's a lot of oils to fry in. I just heard about, um, this interesterified oils, which may, which are altered, but there's not enough studies done. They may still be heart attack risks, like, like trans fats, but, um, all right, just trying to look out for food safety in the area. I don't want people, like, uh just not knowing that this is irrevocably poisoning them, you know? All right. Mwah.